all was not smooth sailing when animators, embittered by the current wages, decided to strike, soon resulting in a halt in workflow. Joining with his fellow peers, Maurice now found himself under Disney's gaze and was forced to switch workspaces with a broom closet and was inevitably laid off. As reason for the strike, Maurice stated, I didn't believe that the wages being paid to beginners and some people who had been in the industry a long time were sufficient to live on. He recounts workers losing their cars and homes, being reduced to attending soup kitchens and the ever-present Disney Goon Squad looming on their minds. This, of course, was the end of Noble's employment with Disney. During World War II, Noble worked on various propaganda posters, booklets, and cartoons for Fox Studios in conjunction with the American Army. With the help of renowned artists Chuck Jones and Theodore Geisel, also known as Dr. Seuss, Maurice contributed to Army-endorsed educational cartoons such as Private Snafu. Through this relationship, Noble was becoming influenced by Jones and Geisel's work, which later inspired him to adopt another style of drawing. The series Private Snafu was soon snapped up by Warner Brothers, where Noble would then work with Jones as director. After the war, Noble was allowed greater freedom to incorporate his own ideas and his new style began to emerge. His work can be seen in cartoons featuring Bugs Bunny.